I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a chart all about matter. And what we're going to do is set up our paper first into three spaces. Now matter exists as in solids, liquids, and gases. So we're going to be doing a little bit of writing first, but these are our main focus, solids, liquids, and gases. Now I'm going to start right about here in between, and I'm just going to draw a wavy line all the way down, jump over, wavy line down. I come back to the first space, and a solid keeps its shape. That's what distinguishes it from liquids or gases. Liquids, their shape depends on the container it's in. And we'll be drawing examples on the container it is in and a gas you can't see but it's there and we'll draw some examples of that also now we're going to take over here on the left and draw a wavy wavy line all the way across to divide up those sections. Okay. Everything you can see and touch is made up of matter. And matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. A perfect example. Wavy, wavy line, wavy line back, curve line, curve line, a rock. A rock is a solid. It keeps its shape. Come right down below, put a dot, straight diagonal out, curve line in, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line out, down, up, connect, come back over here, curve line out, in, leave it floating. Right at this space, little curve line out, little curve line in, curve line on top, one dot. What else is a solid? A puppy. A puppy is a solid. It keeps its shape. Next, put a dot, circle, put a dot, circle, Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, dot, dot, curve line, curve line, dot, dot, curve line, curve line. Little straight lines on the left, wavy line on the right. Put a straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, up, connect. What else is a solid that keeps its shape? You. You are. Okay? And the last one, let's see where I have room. Let's put it right here. We're just going to draw a curve line up, out, down. Curve line out, in. Wavy line, straight lines straight lines. What else is a solid? A cactus. So basically matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. A solid you can actually see it do. Next, liquids. A shape, the shape of the liquid depends on the container it is in. So starting up here let's just draw a flat oval 
straight line down, slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect. Wavy line inside. Let's just draw a little straight line triangle. Come over to this side on the right. We're just going to draw another flat oval. Curve line down, up, connect. Curve line out, in, connect. Curve line, connect. Spiral. Let's draw another straight line. And a triangle. This is water and a glass. The shape depends on the container it is in. This is also a liquid, but this is tea, and it's in a tea cup. Again, the shape depends on the container it is in. Another example, put a dot right there, straight diagonal down, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down, little curve line connect, little curve line connect, straight diagonal, curve line, straight diagonal up, Straight line, straight line, straight line. What is this? This is a bottle of glue. All right, the glue is inside that container. That's the shape it is. But when it comes out, curve line, curve line, and if you make a mess, the liquid goes all over the place because it's no longer contained in the container it was in. Next, put a dot, spiral, flat oval, straight line, curve line, straight line up, little curve line, curve line up, and let's just write white. This is white paint. Let's put a little curve line at the bottom. And the same thing, it's a liquid, it's contained inside this container, but when you put it on a wall, it doesn't any longer live in that container anymore, okay? A gas. A gas you can't see, but it is there. So what we're going to do is draw a straight diagonal, curve line, curve line up. Right here we're going to put dot, dot, and then we're going to write oxygen because that is what we breathe. You can't see it, but you do need it to breathe. I'm going to put a little curve line and a triangle, and I'm going to write the air we breathe. Okay? Then... I'm going to put a dot, draw a circle, little triangle, wavy line. This is a helium gas that we fill up a balloon with so that it'll float. It's filled with a gas. We don't see the gas, but we know it's in there because otherwise the balloon would not float. Come over here in this space and just put a dot, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, little curve line, big curve line up, curve line over, connect, big curve line, little straight diagonal, straight line, little curve line. This gas is steam. You can see it, you can hear it sometimes if your teapot goes off. Another gas you can't see but you know it's there. Okay, so everything you can see and touch is made up of matter. The three main forms are solids, liquids, and gases. And matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, when you do a chart, you don't want to put a lot of color on everything because there's just not enough room. But we do want to add a little bit of color. So we're going to add some brown on our rock. 
give this kid brown hair. Come over here and color in your T. Color that in brown. And I think that's it for that. Now for our solid puppy, take your red, color in your tongue. And I like using red for all my arrows so they pop and you can see them. Okay, we'll give our glue a red top and paint. Just do the arrow. Come over here, let's do our nose. There's a red arrow. Red arrow, maybe add some wavy red lines. That's it. Oops, and this red arrow. Next, make my cactus green. I think that's it there. I'm going to add puppy, a little black nose. Okay, blue water. Blue teapot, tea kettle I should say, and put some little red dots so this guy can be a ginger. Okay, that's all. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is our chart all about matter and the three main forms it exists in. Solids, liquids, and gases. Okay, bye-bye.